let's do bubble sorting in arrays today now in bubble sorting we have to compare two adjoining values two adjoining values and interchange them if there is a need right okay now uh, I'll just uh, show a small array and how the comparisons are made then we'll write the program for this now here uh, let's have the array like this now what will happen uh, first of all this 45 and 2 will be compared when we compare this 45 and 2 2 is less than 45 so this will become 2 and this will become 45 right so this will become 2 and this will become 45 now the next comparison 45 and 11 right when you do this comparison this 45 will become 11 and this 11 will become 45 right now you will compare 45 and 67 there will be no change in this because 45 is less than 67 67 will be compared with 89 there will be no change because 67 is less than 89 89 will be compared with 12 when you do this comparison then 12 will come here and 89 goes there right after that 89 and 34 again now there is going to be a change so 89 34 is less than 89 so this will become 34 right and this will become 89 now 89 and 45 will be compared so 45 is less so this becomes 45 and this will become 89 understood so now what you are seeing here is that this element 89 this is the heaviest element or the largest one number largest number right largest number that comes at the end fine now next time when you go through the loop we will not take into account this 89 this 89 is now the heaviest element which has come at the end so we are not concerned with this now in the next looping <coughs> we have to see <coughs> only up to this element right so in the next loop 2 and 11 will be compared 2 is less than 11 so nothing 11 and 45 11 is less than 45 nothing will happen when you come to this one 45 and 67 this is here also 45 is less so nothing to be done right 67 and 12 now here 12 and 67 will come like this right so you have got 2 11 45 and 12 and 67 right then this 67 will be compared with 34 this one this become 67 no? this will become 67 and this will become 12 so 67 will be compared with 34 now again this 67 will become what 34 and this will be 67 right so 67 actually comes to this place and 34 comes to this so 67 and 45 now again 67 moves here and 45 comes here so now after this pass what do you see now we can see that the 67 this right this is the second largest number out of the numbers that were given 89 which is the largest one which already come at the end now after that 67 has come so now the second largest number has also come to the end now next looping that you will do you will have to consider only up to this number right now when you do the next looping 
2 and 11 will be compared nothing, 11 and 45 when you compare this again nothing, 45 and 12. Now, in this place the swapping will start, 12 will come here, 45 will go there, 45 will be compared with, there are two 45s in this, no there is something wrong here one minute. Uh, 2 and 11, 11 and 45. Actually, I have put two uh, 45s, 145 is here and 145 is there. So, uh, the repetition is there actually. So, anyway, let us see. 2, 11, 11, 45, 45, 12 when you come, this 12 will come here, this 45 will go there, right, fine. Then 45 and 34 will be done. So, 34 comes here, 45 goes there. Now, 45 and 45 will be compared, they are both equal, so nothing will happen, right. So, again now, this, this, these three numbers that is 6, 45, 67 and 89, right, the largest numbers have come. So, like this the sorting goes on. So, you are basically putting, you are basically going through the loop and the heaviest element is taken to the end of the loop, uh, end of the array sorry, end of the array. So, first of all it was 89, then came 67, then came 45 and since there is one more 45 here, it will come right then 34 will come 12 11 like this it will go on fine so this is how your bubble sorting works now let's take up um, i'll show you the function of bubble sort here see in the main function main function you just have to uh, take an array and uh, the size of the array item and index something like this then you will have to ask the user to enter the size for the array c in n right and then the array elements so i'll have a for loop for int i is equal to 0 i less than n i plus plus right here the user will be asked to enter the array elements that is array i right after this the bubble sorting function will be called let us call it bsort array and n. Now, this is what is important here how the bubble sort function works right void bsort int array and int n like this right. Now, here you have to take a temporary variable temp for int i is equal to 0 i less than n i plus plus this will be the outer for loop the inner for loop will be for int j is equal to 0 j less than now look at this here n minus 1 minus i it will be like this and then i uh, sorry j plus plus right then here you will have if array array j is greater than array j plus 1. In that case, we have to do a swapping. So, temp is equal to array j array j is equal to array j plus 1 <coughs> and then array j plus 1 is equal to temp right then you close the outer loop also this is actually the main thing in the function 
Now, I will uh, here see supposing we have numbers here 3, 6, I will put it as 13, the first number is 13, uh, 12, 6, 2. <coughs> Forty five, twenty three, and let us say three. Fine. Now, just I will just show you how this loop works. First of all, I will be equal to 0, right, and j I start with 0, j is less than n minus 1, j is less than n minus 1 minus i, right. n minus 1, the size is how much? 3 plus 3, 6, right. So, it is 6 minus 1, 5, 5 minus 0, 5. So, j is less than 5, right. This is 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, right. If array j is greater than array j plus 1, 12 and 6, it is greater. So, a swapping will be done, right. So, what will happen? 6 comes here, 12 goes there, right. After that, j becomes equal to 1, right. So, now j becomes equal to 1, array j, 1 and 2 is compared, 12 is less than 2. So, now this becomes 2 and this becomes 12. j becomes equal to 2, 2 and 3 is compared, 12 and 45, right. So, no change becomes equal to 3, 45 and 23. So, what will happen? This becomes 23, this becomes 45. 45 and 3 will be compared. So, this becomes 3 and this becomes 45, right. So, that is the first pass. After that, i becomes equal to 1. Now, when i becomes equal to 1, here you have int j is equal to 0, j less than n minus 1 minus i. n minus 1 is still 6 minus 1 only, right but i's value has now become 1. So, 6 minus 1 minus 1 is this is 5 minus 1 which is equal to 4. So, now the loop is for int j is equal to 0 j less than 4. So, j less than 4 means 0 1 2 3 4 because 45 is already come here and this is the heaviest element. So, nothing has to be done right. So, you will have to go only up to this point the second time. Right. So, second time when you come, it is 6 and 2 here. 6 and 2 will be compared and 2 will come here, 6 will go there. 6 and 12 will be compared. These 2 will be compared, 6 will go there. And 2 will come here, sorry, 2 will go here and 6 will come here right and then 6 and 12, 12 and 23, 23 and 45 like this is this is already in a sorted way, but it will go through the whole loop right. Uh, so, uh, 23, 3 is also there, 23 and 3 actually. So, 3 will come here, 23 will go there right. So, 23 will be the next heaviest element which will get settled here fine. So, like this the loop will go on <coughs> and this inner loop this will keep on reducing j less than initially it was j less than 5 then it became j less than 4 then the next time when you come it will become j less than 3 then j less than 2 like this. So, since the heaviest element is coming at the end right. So, there is no need to check that heaviest element, you will have to go only up to this place, right. So, with each and every pass after this actually after this uh, outer for loop is over in this place, you can display the array if you want. You can display the array, so that the uh, changes that you have made that are visible, right. 
So, once the whole thing is complete after that you go back to your main method and here you can display the sorted array. Right. So, the main thing that you have to remember here is this line where we have written j less than n minus 1 minus i. So, that there is no need to consider that last element. The first time it will be the last element, the second time it will be the last two elements, the third time it will be the last three elements like that it goes on. Right? So, that is what uh, is the concept of bubble sorting. So, when you uh, write this uh, bubble sorting function, when you practice this, you should uh, put a array like this and try to do a dry run of the program with every loop. Uh, with every inner loop, what is the change that is happening? That you should see and uh, with every loop the array changes. So, you should have a new array after that. right? Then again you put a new array for the next inner loop, outer loop. right? For int j is equal to 0, j less than n minus 1 minus i, j plus plus. So, this inner loop will do the changes in the array elements. Right. So, after that actually uh, I am sorry, uh, after the outer loop I have put it wrongly here, this displaying the array will be after the inner loop not after the outer loop. Right. Here after the inner loop you should display the array then only you will know what is the new array, what are the changes that have been made. Then you go back to the outer loop and then again the changes will be made like that it goes on. Right? So, with that I will end the session on bubble sorting. Bye.